Obviously, I'm extremely disappointed. Well, look, clearly we got it wrong. Votes against the proposal, 1,021,546. Votes in favour of the proposal, 487,564. This was the referendum to extend the definition of family beyond families based on marriage, but also to include other durable relationships. As head of government and on behalf of the government, uh, we accept responsibility for the result. 93% no in some boxes. Votes in favour of the proposal, 393,053. <laughs> Votes against the proposal, 1,114,620. Is the referendum on care. This is the reference to a woman's place in the home and a mother's duties in the home and the government's proposal was to effectively put in a new provision which would recognise care within the family unit. Uh, it was our responsibility to convince a majority of people to vote yes um, and we clearly failed to do so. There will be questions asked of the government. The blame game has already started. Who is to blame? Is it the government? Is it the opposition? The government have been the authors of their own demise. There will have been a range of reasons that have uh, driven the two strong no votes today uh, and government will have to reflect on, uh, reflect on, on those reasons. Uh, I think we have to reflect on the results. I think it's uh, a moment of reflection for the government who uh, went on a solo run on these matters. The opposition have, uh, have serious questions to answer. It is incredible that Aintu was the only political party that has actually uh, campaigned against this. In Labour certainly we were campaigning for a yes yes as was every other opposition party because we did recognise that the text proposed was a step forward. It was progress compared to what's in the constitution but it clearly wasn't the progress or the step forward that we would have liked to see. Uh, the government created massive confusion in terms of durable relationships and actually reduced provision of care in the care referendum as well. They failed to uh, collaborate in any way and, and they also failed to convince the electorate. The responsibility does lie with government, first of all to explain why they chose a wording for these two referendums that differed so significantly from the wording that our Oireachtas Gender Equality Committee had proposed, wording which had cross-party support and I think would have got much stronger support across the country. And the second is, why having chosen that wording did they not mount a more assertive campaign to sell it to people? I think the truth of the matter is there was a very lacklustre campaign, there was a lot of confusion and the no campaigners mounted a very strong argument. The case for constitutional reform of Article 41 remains, I believe, but it won't be a matter that this government will, uh, will, 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 will be looking at again in the context of, of this term of office. It'll be a decision for a, for a future government. Well, look, I, I don't think we're so important that it will be um, heading the news or being the headlines all across the world. I'm sure it'll be reported, but uh, there are lots of other things happening in the world, not least um, the, the war in Gaza and the conflict in Ukraine, so I'm sure it'll be reported on, but I'm, I'm not sure it'll be uh, the, 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 the talk of the town in, in Naples or, or New York or, 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 or anywhere else for that matter. Um, you know, like I say, um, we put the proposition to the people, um, the people heard the arguments, uh, considered them um, and voted to reject them and we accept that and we fully accept uh, that the constitution belongs to the people, not to politicians, not to political parties. Uh, the people are sovereign uh, and they've decided uh, not to make these changes to our constitution uh, and we accept uh, their judgment and their decision.